Hi viewers, so welcome to this lecture <clears throat> on uh, rules for constructing continuous functions. So last time, uh, in the last lecture, we talked about homeomorphism between two topological spaces and then at the end I stated one theorem which was basically uh, related to, uh, to continuous functions between topological spaces. And it in fact gives us a rule for constructing continuous functions. If somebody gives you a topological space X and a topological space Y, and if 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 he asks you to uh, give give him a continuous function between those two topological spaces, then uh, you can give him a constant function, right? And then if he has already given two continu two continuous functions between topological spaces. Suppose one function is from the topological space x to y and another function is from the topological space say y to z then you can easily construct a continuous function from x to z that is the composition right z compose f or uh, yeah or f compose c okay. similarly we saw that uh, by restricting the range set and and also by restricting the domain set of a continuous function uh, into the subspace of the domain set, uh, you can construct a continuous function. Okay. That restriction will be a continuous function. So we have seen certain those kind of things. So, but uh, the proof uh, I said that proof I'm going to do in the in this lecture. So if you directly come to this uh, lecture, you will not understand anything. You have to go back to, into the previous lecture and then you come here okay all right so let me prove those results so in fact what i'll do is i'll write each of the uh, part of the result uh, here also and then prove it so let us quickly recall what was the result theorem was if x, y and z, if these are topological spaces, if these are three topological spaces, uh, then the first is constant function. First is about the constant function. So it says that if f from x to y, if it maps all of x into the single point y0, into the single point y0 in y, Say y0 of y, then f is continuous. Then f is continuous. So that means constant function between topological spaces is continuous always. So let us prove this. So to show that f is continuous, what is that I have to show? I have to show that for any open set V of y, its inverse is open in X. So let us start with an open set v of y. So let v be an open set of y. Okay. Open set uh, in y. Whatever. Now I want to show that f inverse of v is open in x. So if v is an open set in y then what will be f inverse of v? f inverse of v will be it will be whole of x if the point x0 sorry if the point y0 is in v all right and it will be the set phi if the point y0 is not in v i think it is clear right because every point of x is mapped to a single point y0 of y so if in f inverse v uh, if in view uh, y0 is there then 
it will be whole of x, f inverse v will be whole of x, and if in v, uh, y0 is not there, then f inverse v will be empty. For example, if you have a function f from the set 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, from the set containing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 2, say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, suppose that all the points are mapped to 1. Suppose all the points of domain set are mapped to 1. And if I consider this set as v, then what will be f inverse v? Empty, no? And if I consider uh, v to be such that it contains say 1, suppose that this is v, then what will be f inverse v? Whole of a. And if v is a set containing 1, then f inverse v in that case also will be whole of a. If, if v is a set containing just singleton, singleton, if v is a singleton set containing just 1, then again in that case f inverse v will be whole of a. That is the idea I am using here. Okay. So in any case, what we have is, I know that in any case, uh, if f inverse v I get as x, then I know that x is a topological space, means x is open in x. And if uh, I get f inverse v as phi, then also in that case, f inverse v is open in x. So in any case, f inverse of v is open in x right hence f is continuous because i prove that for any open set v of y f inverse v is open in, open in x so it, it means that f is continuous so every constant function between two topological spaces is continuous this uh, is what the result says all right so the next result uh, what was the next result it was about inclusion no so what was the next statement of the theorem? It was uh, about the inclusion. So it says that if A is a subspace of X, if A is a subspace of X, then the inclusion function, the inclusion function, Say z from a to x, z from a to x, defined by z of x is equal to x for every x in a is continuous. Right? So if a is a subspace of x, then the inclusion function z from a to x which is defined, defined by zx is equal to x for each x in a is continuous. So let, let me prove this. So statement is I think clear. I have already explained uh, what the statement says. So let me prove this. Alright, so what is, uh, what is that I have to show? I have to show that for any open set of v of a, say u of x f z inverse of u is open in a that is what i have to show so let me start with an open set v of x so let v be any open set in x suppose v is any open set in x uh, then what will be my z inverse v z inverse v will be what it will be a intersection v no because uh, I know that j of x is equal to x for every x in a so therefore j inverse v will be a intersection v okay it will not be v because v is a subset of x so it is v intersection a but I know that since v is open in x and a is a subspace of x so v intersection a is open in this is open in a right hence because any open set in the subspace looks like this. A intersection some set which is open in X. Hence Z is continuous. Because I proved that for any open set V of, suppose V is any open set in X, then it's Z inverse V is open in A. So therefore Z is continuous. Right? So the proof, is B, proof of B is very simple. Okay, so now uh, what does the C part of the theorem says it says it it talks about the composites right 
it says that if uh, I have a function f from x to y and another function says z from y to z, if these are continuous, then uh, the map uh, the composite map f compose z which is a map from x to z this is continuous this is what uh, the c part says rufus again uh, i have to show that z compose f compose z which is a map from x to z is continuous so let us start with the uh, with an open set uh, w of z so just let w be any open set suppose w be any open set of z then what will be z compose f uh, inverse of w it will be nothing but I know that z compose f inverse is uh, it is nothing but f inverse compose z inverse no it will be f inverse compose z inverse of w which is nothing but uh, f inverse of z inverse w but what is what will be z inverse w now let us let us uh, see this precisely so z inverse w is nothing but uh, since w is an open uh, set of z open subset let w be any open subset of z so since w is an open subset of z and z is a mapping from y to z which is continuous so therefore z inverse w is open in y as z is continuous so this is open in y but uh, so call this as say v so here we have f inverse v where v is open in y. We know that f is a map from x to y which is continuous. That means for any open set v of y, f inverse v is open in x. So since f is continuous and here we have f inverse of some open set in y. So therefore f is continuous. So it will be f inverse v will be open in x. So it will be open in x. So what did I prove? I proved that z compose f whole inverse of w is open in x. So what does that, that mean? It means that, so, so it implies C compose F inverse of W, this is open in X. What does it imply? It implies that the map Z compose F is continuous because W is any arbitrary open subset of Z and we prove that Z compose F inverse W is open in X. So it implies Z compose F is continuous. All right. So this was about composite. Now we have uh, another statement which says that uh, so it is about the restricting the domain, right? It is about restric restricting the domain. So what does it say? It says that if f is a function from x to y, which is continuous, and if a is a subspace of x then then the restricted function then the restricted function that is f restricted on a which is a function from a to y this is also continuous so let us prove this statement is I think clear it says that if f is a function from x to y which is continuous and if a is a subspace of x now if I uh, restrict the function f from if I restrict the function f on a uh, then I'll have a function then the restricted map is a function from a to y defined by the same rule as there in f this function is also continuous if f is continuous but note that a should be a subset of x which we consider as a subspace of x with respect to the subspace topology all right i want to show that this function is continuous so let us start with an open set open subset any open subset v of y so let v be any open set in y 
I want to show that f restricted on a. So I want to show that f restricted on a inverse of v. This is open in a. This is what I want to show. But this is nothing. This is same as what will be this? It is same as uh, suppose b is any open set in y. Then uh, okay, since f is continuous, so since f is continuous, so what we have is uh, we have f inverse of v is is open in x, right? So this implies f inverse of f restricted over a, f inverse of Sorry, if this is open in x, then it implies that uh, a intersection f inverse of yeah v this this is going to be open in a right a intersection f inverse v is going to be open in a but uh, uh, okay. But can I say that, but yeah, but this is nothing, uh, so this set is nothing but this set is same as f restricted on a inverse of v, right? So this implies that it is nothing but f restricted on a inverse of v, this is open in a. All right. So I I started with a new open set in Y and I proved that it is open in A. So hence, what is the conclusion? Our conclusion is that f this restricted function is continuous. Okay. Or one can also say that well, this is a function uh, which is the composition of the inclusion map z from a to x and the map f from x to y so therefore i know i have so this this is already continuous from our previous observation and this map is given to be continuous hence the composition of continuous function is continuous so therefore this map is continuous so that is the kind of argument you can give but but this is also the very precise argument all right so next is so e part of the theorem says that it is about the restricting or expanding the range restricting or expanding the range so what does it says it says that if i have a continuous function from x to y okay, uh, and okay so let me start Writing. So let f is a function from x to y where x and y are topological spaces and suppose this is a continuous function and if z is a subspace of y which contains the range of f, right, if z is a subspace of y which contains the range of f, then uh, if, if I denote the range of uh, f by fx then uh, then then the function z which is defined let us say the function z is defined from x to uh, z this is going to be continuous okay. this is going to be continuous so suppose f from x to y is, is continuous if z is a subspace of y which contains containing the image set fx <clears throat> then the function then the function z from x to z 
This is obtained by restricting uh, the range of f is continuous. Obtained by restricting the range of f is continuous. Okay. So what does it say? It says that uh, if I have a function f from x to y, and suppose z is a subspace of y. Okay. So suppose that this is my range set f x, and suppose z is a subspace of y containing the range set c f x, then uh, Then uh, if I define a map Z from say X to Z uh, by Z of X is equal to say FX for all X in capital X, then this Z will be continuous. This is what the uh, statement says. So let us prove it. So I want to show uh, again that for any open set V of W of Z, z inverse of w is open in x okay that is what i have to so okay okay so uh so let us assume that f from x to y is continuous that is given to us that is the part of hypothesis so let us assume that f from, from x to y is continuous and uh, further assume that if uh, fx is a subset of z, which is a sub subset of y, what we saw, we saw that we saw that the function. Z okay, so we saw that z is continuous. All right. So let us start with an open subset, say b of y so let b be open in z then since uh, z is a subspace of y so b will be of the form z intersection u where u is open in y right where as z being a subspace of y so where u is open set of y So now, uh, if I look at, so see, u is open set of y. So then what will be my f inverse u? This will be open set of x because f is continuous. Okay, this will be open set of x as f is continuous. But see, but since Z contains the image set that is Fx, so therefore F inverse U is same as Z inverse U because the, the codomain of Z is Z, which is in some sense larger uh, than uh, uh, than the range of it may be equal to but it is some sense larger than the range of fx it may have more elements or it may have elements number of elements equal to uh, fx or greater than or equal to the number of elements there in fx that is more precise right so cardi since fx is subset of z so cardinality of fx is less than or equal to cardinality of z right so because of which as z contains all the elements in the range set of f and uh, f inverse u contains so by the way what is z inverse u z inverse u is the set of all x in capital x says that z of x belongs to u and f inverse u is the set of all x in capital x says that fx belongs to u right fx belongs to u now uh, okay 
Now these two sets are equal because because u is a subset of y and uh, we know that fx is equal to gx no fx is equal to gx so therefore for every x in capital f capital x fx is equal to gx so gx is F fx so these two sets are same that is the argument which i give so because of which f inverse u is equal to g inverse u and also fx is a subset of z so using this and the definition of f inverse u and g inverse u we can say that these two sets are same so so therefore since f inverse u is open in x implies that so from here what what is imply what does it imply it implies that g inverse u is open in x because they are same so g inverse u is open in x so g inverse u is open in x uh, and uh, okay so so now say so what will be now uh, what will be g inverse b g inverse b will be g inverse of z union sorry intersection g inverse of u what is g inverse z g inverse z is the whole of x so it will be x intersection g inverse u so x is open in x g inverse u is open in x from here so therefore g inverse b is open in x so we started with an open set any open set in z and then we prove that its in inverse image with respect to the, the map z is open in x hence z is continuous this is open right this is open in x hence z is continuous so the conclusion is that uh, z is continuous okay, i think it is clear all right okay so now uh so again uh we have the second part of the e which says that if this is the first part this is the proof of the first part still we have second part which says that if z is a subspace if z is a subspace having y as a if z is a space having y as a subspace if z is a space having y as a subspace then the function h then the function say h from x to z obtained by expanding the range of obtained by expanding the expanding the range of f is continuous okay. what does it says it says that if z is a space having y as a subspace okay so what does it says here i'll quickly explain so f is a function from x to y which is continuous and if z is a space having y as a subspace that means i have a i have a z which is a space which uh, contains y as a subspace then if i define the function f h from x to z such that hx equal to fx for every small x there in capital x then uh, then that function is also continuous then h is continuous that is what i have to prove all right so let us prove it so second part e equals so it is the second part of e E itself so let us prove it so what i want to show i want to show that uh, h which is a map from x to z this function is continuous if z has y as a subspace this is what i want to show so if i 
quickly see then one can easily see that h is a composition of so since uh, h uh, is a composition of a map f from x to y and the inclusion map and the inclusion map say from y to z how I, how because if i look at h of x h of x is equal to fx right or h of x is equal to one can see that it is f compose uh, z of z compose f of x but this is nothing but f of z uh, x sorry uh, it, it will be z comp f compose z of x so this is nothing but z of f of x but what is z of f of x it is z of it is uh, f of x f of x is a point in y but j takes that point to j takes that point to okay, let me think h of x would be okay it is so j compose f of no, f is a function from x to z, j is, yeah, f compose z of x, but this is same as z of f of x. But z of f of x is going to be, z of f of x is going to be, oh, z has y as a subspace, so it, it is going to be f of x. Yeah? Why? Because, uh, because y is a subset of z. That's why it is going to be f of x. So hx, hx is f of x. All right. So therefore, it is the composition of. Uh, hence, what is h? H is a composition of these two maps. So, right. So because of which I know that f is continuous, j is continuous. J is the inclusion map, which is continuous. So composition of map is continuous. Composition of continuous map is continuous. So H is continuous. Clear? So second part is done. Hence H is continuous. Because it is the composition of continuous map. So you write it precisely. So we have uh, one more, one last result which says that the map f from x to y this is continuous if x is equal to say union u alpha where alpha is in z where and where each u alpha is open in x for each alpha in say index at j and f restricted on u alpha which is a this restriction function is a map from u alpha to y for each alpha in j is continuous so this function is continuous if uh, the domain set domain space can be written as the uh, arbitrary union of open sets in x and also if i restrict each uh, if i restrict function from each function to each u alpha which is a subset of x that should be continuous that should be continuous if that is the case then i can say that the function is continuous from x to y it is the local form formulation of continuity so locally uh, if we could able to prove that it is uh, con continuous locally locally in a sense that if it did if it is if i restrict the same function on each each of the sets u alpha where what are u alphas that is that that is clear no then uh, if if that restriction function restricted function is continuous on each u alpha 
then I say that the function itself is continuous. But note that this is the re required thing. X should be, it, it should be possible to write X as the uh, arbitrary union of open sets in X. Okay. So let us prove this. Proof is again very simple. By hypothesis, what is, what we have is, by hypothesis, we have uh, X as union, X can be written as union alpha in J, where J is some index set U alpha, right? Where each, where each U alpha is open in X, all right? Okay. And further what is given to us, we are given that if restricted on U alpha, uh, this is continuous for each alpha. This is also given to us, right? In hypothesis. As in hypothesis. This is also given to us as in hypothesis of this statement in our previous theorem. What we want to show? We want to show that f is continuous. All right, to show that f is continuous, let us start with an open set V of y. So let V be an open set in y. What is our, my aim? My aim is to show that f inverse V is open in x. So then if V is open set in y, then what will be f inverse V intersection u alpha? Let us see that. It will be equal to f restricted on u alpha inverse of V. Right? We have already seen in our previous theorem, in the proof of our previous theorem also, f inverse v intersection u alpha is going to be uh, f restricted on u alpha in inverse of v. Okay? Just check. All right. <clears throat> so what does this expression represents? What is f inverse v? It is the set of all x in uh, capital X such that fx is in v right so it intersection u alpha means what it is the set of all x in capital x such that fx is in v intersection u alpha all right sorry fx is in v does it make sense No, not fx is in v intersection u alpha, but it is the set of all x in x intersection u alpha. Yeah, this is, this makes sense. x intersection u alpha. Also, this is nothing but the set of all x in uh, u alpha such that f x is in v right f restricted on u alpha but you can write simply as fx this is same as fx for x in u alpha it is uh, fx is same as so f restricted restricted on u alpha of x is same as fx so i can simply write fx but x intersection u alpha is nothing but u alpha itself no the exercise is solved so fx is in v because u alpha is a subset of x so these two sets are same Okay, so these two sets are also same. <clears throat> okay, then these two sets are same. All right. But uh, what is given to us? So let me call this as one. Since we know that since uh, f restricted on u alpha is given to be continuous, right? And f inverse of v since v is open set in y so my aim is to say that f inverse v is open in x all right so since f restricted on u alpha is continuous so therefore this set is going to be open in u alpha right so so this is continuous so the set f restricted on u alpha of inverse of what v right v is going to be open in u alpha 
but if it is open in u alpha then it will be again it will be an open set in because u alpha is open in x this is an open set in u alpha and u alpha is open in x so hence uh, so this set is and hence it will be open in x right we have already proved that if a set is open in u alpha and if u alpha is open in x then the set will be open in x and hence it is open in x but if i look at f inverse of v what is f inverse v f inverse v will be uh it will be what f inverse of v will be union alpha in z f inverse of v intersection u alpha right why this is true because okay so so if i if i consider if i pick a point from f inverse v f inverse v the set of all x in x such that f of x is in v and what is this set what is the union uh well uh, i can uh, okay so i can write this as mm, let me think okay i can write this as union alpha in z f inverse v intersection union alpha in z u alpha but this is whole of x and it, f inverse v it does not depend on alpha right so therefore it is f inverse v intersection x which is same as f inverse v i think it is clear why th these two sets are same okay so these two sets are same so uh, f inverse v is the union uh, union of uh, f inverse v equal to this set and f inverse v intersection u alpha uh, what i can say about f inverse v intersection u alpha uh, yeah so each of this set okay uh, for each u alpha f restricted and u alpha inverse of v is open in u alpha it is hence it is open in x so what did i prove i proved that since this set is same as this set so this set is open in x for each alpha in z so therefore this set is open in x right this set is open in x and this is the arbitrary union of open set in x this is therefore it will be open in the union will be also open in x all right so therefore this union is open in x this implies f inverse v is open in x so what did i prove i started with an open set v of y i proved that its inverse uh, is open in x hence f is continuous its inverse image is open in x so therefore f is continuous that was our aim no what was our aim I, our aim is to show that f is continuous this completes the proof so this is about the construction uh, this is about the rule for constructing continuous functions between topological spaces so next i'll talk about the pesting lemma which is the very important lemma uh, it frequently appears in the course on algebraic topology also with this i'll stop